Okay, no. Easy Tigers. I hope everyone is fine and dandy. First things first, just want to big up the people that support me, show me love on Patreon and PayPal. It's thanks to you guys I can continue to bring these videos to you. So big up yourselves. If you want to join the gang, the links are in the descriptions. Right. So, 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 so. Old World Underground, eh? This is one of my favourite spots, to be honest with you. Being underground in the Old World. I love it. So, I met up with a good friend of mine, Jim. And he's the man with the canoe. And we decided to go down. This is not a river. I think this is like a, a, a canal, but a large canal. And it's a part of the river. Part of, it comes off the River Avon in Bristol. So this yellow mark is where we entered. And we went underground and it was literally at 0.22 of a mile. You can see where it just arches around the corner. And then we end up going, like coming off the, off the canoe underground. And then going up some steps. And it takes us out to to the street. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my mince pies. So this is where we entered anyway. So you've got this little sly bit here that goes underneath the bridge and then goes underneath all the infrastructure. And this is very old world stuff. These tunnels are meant to be nearly a thousand years old, apparently according to the narrative. But this is where we popped out. So we popped ahead through this little door. So it's amazing what's below your feet and you don't even have a clue what you're treading on, eh? You haven't got a clue what's underneath you. But the best thing about this video, or one of the best things about this video, it shows you all the infrastructure that's holding up the new world that we live in. And it's built directly on top of the old world. <laughs> it's going to knock your socks off. But yeah, we went up and down this river. We had a good old look. So I've got some goodies for you. So what I'm going to do, how the structure of this video is going to go, is I'm going to just let the video play. Au naturel. And, then on the, that's, and that's going through the river. And on the way back, I'll shut the sound off and I'll run through what I see and point out stuff that I've noticed. So you get a bit of bit, best of both worlds, eh? So, this is me mate Jim, having a little scope on the river, so that's one way. That's right. And look, I'll just show you how dirty the river was, it is filthy. These people are disgusting, mate. You pay for water to get taken away in the sewage, but they just dump it out in the rivers. Never mind, I digress. And these, this wall just looked cooked out to me. It looked absolutely cooked. But this, this, it, it, this must have been a star city. It must have been. It's got all the characteristics of it. It's got the, it's got the canals running through it, and it's got the extremely old block work. And some of the shapes of, uh, of the banks down here, you could just tell it used to be a star fault or a star city. But look, cooked out blocks. I mean, what colour were they originally? What do you reckon they were? Tell me. And again, like, some of this stuff is so old, I felt like I was in Malta, going around Valletta. I mean, look at this. This, this is geopolymer. I don't know if this is limestone or sandstone because it's so deteriorated. But that, this is limestone in Malta, and this looks identical. So if you look at the little one in the corner, that's in Bristol. And the, the one on the bigger screen, this is in Manuel Island. This is a plague hospital that's over a thousand years old but look at the block work that's what I'm saying and again this is Manuel Island like how long do the blocks have to be there like this is this is actually Valletta now sorry say that again this is Valletta this is part of the Bastion War Valletta but look at the blocks deteriorated geopolymer blocks and for that to be like that it's got to have been weathered a very long time but just have a look how old these blocks are eh and not a lot of them are the same size like again, it's this, it's this technique they use where each course or each line of bricks or course, however you want to say it, is a different size. So you must have different size profiles. And you've got pipes coming out of here, you've got, you've got tunnels coming out of here, you've got all sorts of stuff. Incredible. Like this is probably one of the oldest parts of the wall that I see. See, look at this door hiding. Like who decided to plant the tree there to hide that stuff? And I mean, what's going on behind these walls? I'd like to know what's going on in here. We did come across a couple of parts, but it's hard to get out of a canoe. No, I'm, I'm a bit of an amateur. But anyway, anyway. Not only does Bristol 
have all this underworld, they also have these vaults exactly the same as Malta. And it's not that it's the same as Malta, it's the same everywhere. I just say that because I've been to Malta and I can compare these. These are identical. So what are these vaults doing here? And the middle picture looks like it's purposely filled in. And them stalactites that are there, how long does it take for them there to get there? And the roots to come down, it must have been their donkey's years. But anyway, let's go. Let me show you Wagwan. You're going to love it. You are going to love it. So this is where we enter, eh? Boom. Let's go. So it's quite scary when you're in the canoe, ironically, because you're so low to the ground, but here we go. Oh my God, there is water coming in here. Oh, there's pigeons. Oh my God. Yeah. Mate, I am, mate, I'm shaking. Well, I mean, we can, if you want to get off and... Nah, mate. No, nah, not yet, not yet. Oh my God, I can hear rats. The rats? I don't know, probably. I'm almost certain. Look, there's a tunnel. Uh, 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 it's got a... Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. I must say, I'm tempted at some point to throw it on this because if the rat ran in and had throws on this in that body, but ran in the boat and had my shorts on. Oh, mate, I'd jump in the water, mate. Yeah, I hate rats. I won't talk about them anymore. Yeah, alright. So, I've plenty of space to turn around, we can get out of here quick if we need to. Yeah. Not really, I mean, there's not really any monsters in here, I think. No, I hope not, mate. <laughs> <laughs> they just cast the concrete directly on top of the old stonework. Yeah, they have just, I think they call this crack and cover. This yeah, yeah. Uh, they're saying, uh, it's a bottle in the wall, by the way. But so they just extended the old panel from this crack and yeah. cover thing. In fact, they haven't even done that, all they've done is cover. Some of the old stuff, they haven't cut anything. Yeah, you see by the size. Wow. Oh my god. This is starting to get narrow now. Um, Mate, what's that noise? That's just stuff hitting the bottom. Alright, alright. Do you know if is it, it is carries it? on narrow like this and with no sides, or is it carrying? I'm not sure, mate. Well, we can get backwards out of it. We can go backwards out of it if we need to. Okay. We won't be able to turn around with this section. Alright. But if we need to, I can just go there, back. I think there is another section where you can turn around, uh, like a loading bay. Okay, cool. Oh, God, water. Oh. It's just shit. Hitting the bottom of the boat, that's all that is. Yeah. Oh. Look, there's a, there's a drain up there. What's that? Oh no. Oh. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, isn't it? This is like the tunnels that I've been in, by the way. Really? Yeah. Oh. But, but, not, but the ones I've been in have been much straighter than this. Yeah. Wow, I think that's feet. Is that feet to the exit? It, 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 it almost certainly is a distance. I think we might have 1,195. What is that? 2,195. 195 meters. We've just gone in 195 meters. Oh, mate. I think what we can do is just keep, keep going and hope that we find somewhere we can go around. Likely we will. Oh, look, modern stone. Yeah, surface, oh my god. Oh. It does. We should have run to the weather It's not going to be that bad anyway. Oh. We're not going to be in that long. Nah. If it rains, it'll start by spitting. It'll take hours to get up to the high range. It wouldn't mind clearly, obviously, going to rain.
these? These are just for the right. This is so this is to collect rainwater and stuff, I guess. Is it? Do you reckon, Jim? What these holes? Yeah. That's where, uh, the Hundred twenty five, so it's getting smaller though. Okay, so no, maybe it's not then. Oh. Like yeah, loads. <laughs> oh wow, it's getting low down there. Look at that. Oh mate, are you gonna do that? Are you, are you alright? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Not that one. Oh god. Ninety, that ninety there says so ninety, eighty. This is ten feet, these are feet, aren't they? No, it can't be feet. Maybe it's inches. God, geezer. Oh, it's just got really cold in here. There's a drain there. Is it getting any bigger? What, down here? No, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If we could just turn around easily, if there's anywhere to turn around, then I'd be happy. So then we can just go to that and turn around when we want, when we want to come around and go out as quicker than we come in. Yeah. Right? It's just that if we. Get to a point where it's literally a dead end. There's a sink in the water here, mate. You what? A sink in the water there. Okay. Oh, it's just a bit of wood. Oh, I can see daylight. Can you see? Turn the light off, mate. Oh, no. Yeah, there's daylight, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wow. We're in the proper <laughs> Oh my god, mate, I am wow. fucking shitting myself. <laughs> god. Oh, it's, big, it's bigger down there, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it opens oh, up a bit. Cool. Oh, mate, oh my god. So that is a bit of a relief, I have to say. Oh, mate, I'm, mate, I'm so stiff, it's unbelievable. Well, we can, we can, if there's, oh, there's places we can get oh, off. Oh, thank here. fuck for that. Hey? Thank god for that. I'm going to put my drones on as well. Oh my god. Just right, there's a platform there, Jim. Oh yeah, is that is that something in the Yeah there is, there's something right in the way. So okay. this is the platform here. Okay. So we can get oh. the platform to, um see what's there. But and also we have to lift it over that. Alright, right, I, I think you're gonna hit something here, mate. If we can uh uh hang on, let me put this down. Alright. Right. Um, hold on, try and get out of here. Oh. You, you can walk there now. Yeah, oh my god. You can see Oh fuck! Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, mate. Can you, have you opened the door? Have you opened it? I have opened it, but I've closed it again. Yeah, alright. Oh, so. just open it and have a look. Are we where we were? Picasso. Picolino.
So look, that was a grill above us, but it's just been absolutely... Oh, man. oh mate. No, that is good. You right, mate? <laughs> oh. That was well good mate. Hey. That was really good. I think if I put the music in the properly, I was trying to look at the music and stay at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 sugar, sugar. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh my god. Right, I'm out. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Right, so I guess you have a right old laugh, eh? Probably laughed your socks off. Instead of knocking your socks off, you laughed your socks off. Like, that was me, genuinely scared. Like, I don't like rats, I don't like mice, I don't like flies, I don't like anything like that. And I'm down here getting this footage for you. And another thing is, like, I didn't really say this at the start because I went to play it out, but when my mate started playing the recorder, I didn't even know he was going to play the recorder until, like, boom, he'd done it. And I was like, what the flipping hell's going on here? I started thinking of horror movies for the first two seconds. But look at this little gadget. This is like some sort of gate valve, a ginormous gate valve. And it had two metal chains on it. It's obviously part of the old world, this part. And there's the canoe, there's the baby. See, this bit now is actually part of the river Avon. And the bit on the other side of this concrete is part of the canal. So when the canal overfills or fills up with rainwater or sewage because there's so many pipes coming out of there, it then fills up into the overflows into the river, which is disgusting. Now look at the block work or the bricks on top. Now if you ask me, the block and look at these, look at these little you've got all these little uh, terminals and these pipes, very old well pipes poking into here. Look at this, it's so old. So old. And so scary. But my, my point is, I believe after being down here that these were the original roads. And that's why we call canals... Well, that's not why we call canals canals, but that's why we call a road a road, because you would road down there. And what do you do when you're in a canoe? You road. You know, R-O-W-E-D. Not R-O-A-D. You road. So there's, there's a little bit of etymology there, or... or uh, not etymology, but, you know, you yeah, know, luck. And again, look at all this, like, look. when I was doing the sewage in, um, 
Roman days, this is what it looked like. You had the red bricks with these massive limestone blocks on the outside diameter of the circle. But my friend wanted to go up there and I said, mate, listen, I'm pushing it. We're just going down here. I'm pushing it, you know. I, I nearly bottled it, like getting in the water just before we went in here. I was thinking, oh, I might not go through this. Because I'm genuinely, you're going to laugh your heads off here. Yeah? I'm genuinely scared of fish. Like, I've got a phobia of fish. I can't go near them. So when I lived in Malta, I didn't even go in the water, ironically. I might just dip my feet or something like that. Or I might, I'll go in the swimming pool, no problem. But when I can't see what's going on underneath me, no chance, mate. I don't want to know. I'd rather keep me, keep my toes out of it, keep my feet on the ground. Anyway, enough about me. So, yeah. So... These were, to me, they seem like old roads, and you've got all these like terminals coming in here, so this must have been rainwater, and that's done with red brick, so these are later additions, if you ask me, because everything around it is this very old brick, and they're all different sizes. I mean, look at that. See, this has obviously been bricked up more modern, but look at the size of the blocks and the stones on here. They're tiny. So it's like, yeah, this was a road, and then they've just built a, it's called shut and cover. Or oh, shut and cover, yeah. So they've just built on top of it and turned it into a tunnel instead of a road. Look, look at this. Look at the blocks. Look at the stones. They're so old. This reminds me a bit like uh, Southampton. Like the stonework underground. Just look at that. It, it opens up a bit now. On the way there, because I didn't have this, I had the sound on, it actually gets really narrow. And that is when I was at my most, you know, most scared. You can see it. The water doesn't rise too much. You can see there was two lines in there. And I think there was only, it only fluctuates about 100 mil, 10 centimetres. And again, you've got this extremely old arch. Like, they, this, this arch is as old as the stonework around it. Like, this is like the original one. Look at that. I wonder what that was for. It's very peculiar. I was going to come down here on a rubber dinghy, but... <laughs> No chance. When, when we was going along in here, I could hear all the stuff hitting the bottom of this canoe. So if I was in a dinghy, I'd be gone, mate. But look at the stones. This is so old. So old. Again. And another thing is, I know we're directly here, directly underneath the park. So these must have been drain covers for the park. There is one point when we get out where... I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, so you're just going along. So if you was above ground now, these would be little term These would be little drain covers. So it's, it's quite interesting how advanced all this is done, you know. Again, it's another one for... Oh, I guess it's for rainwater to come in. So if you, was, if you was above ground and you'd open up one of them hatches, you'd look down, you'd just see a sewage. But I don't believe these were originally sewers. These are the old waterways. This is how you got around back in the day. But they've covered it up and they've made new routes for sewage to deposit into here. So no one can see it. Because why don't they, like they just deposit into the River Avon? They don't. They deposit into here underground and then it just goes into the River Avon. It's just disgusting. Look at that. So old. So old. I, I think it's even older than the 1200s. Look. It's just an incredible, incredible place. Again, these pipes. Like, look at this. Like, there must be another tunnel behind that wall, and you've got this massive red brick arch. But there must be another tunnel behind that wall. Like, where's that pipe come from? Like, it's not just a bit of pipe poking out of the wall, it's obviously being, it's coming from somewhere else. So that must have been another tunnel behind that wall. You can see, like, there's places here where stuff just can deposit in here. There's also a part of this river, or sorry, canal. Like, where does this one go, eh? And the water's just leaking in. It's a very scary place, especially, and what was going on above here, eh? I'd like to know what's above this part. 
because this is just some metal shuttering with a couple of beams going across. So that would have been an open spot here, I guess. Again, more of these terminals. Would you like to do this? Let me know if you'd like to go and do something like this. Like I said, I've got a lot of stuff to do in July. I've got so much stuff booked. It's going to be such a wicked month. Especially for content. I've got so much stuff to go and do. I'm going up to the Peak District tonight. Going inside the mountains. I'm going to get to the source. Now, this was interesting because... These blocks, like, what's going on here? It's like you've got some stuff, you've got normal bricks underneath, and you've got old blocks, and then you've got, like, even older blocks on top of that. It's very strange. It's like it's done back to front. Like, you'd expect the newer blocks to be on top. But no, it's very, very, very peculiar. But now this is where it gets strange, because all that we stand on is built on top of this stuff. Now, this is very old world block work and buildings right and then just directly plonked on top of that so there must have been a, uh, a massive cavity behind this like it's been blocked up back in the day but look you can see I'll show you in a sec where the concrete has just been poured directly and set on top of the old world and they just built on top of it look look at that look at that so I'd like to know what what point uh, did they do that there must have been no one around at that point. I'm going, hang on, we're going to pour loads of concrete over this, we're going to shut and cover it, and then we're going to build loads of infrastructure directly on top of it. So this is what's below our feet. We, we sit there and think there's mud, and then you go underground, no, 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 no. There's infrastructure directly above our feet. Below, not above, as above, so below. Look, it's concrete. You wouldn't even believe this is underneath. Like, <laughs> like there's a park above us. There's a park, there's blocks of flats, there's, there's a whole world, there's people living directly above this. But look at it. And this is like, even when I went into Camden, underground in Camden, it was directly the same, exactly the same. Just concrete directly on top with these massive pillars holding up the new world. Hiding the old world. This is real hidden history here, I'm telling you. See this pipework, this is called Ensign, this is cast iron. That's 12 inch. I do a lot. I did a lot of that in London. So much. It's drainage. That's probably for rainwater or something to deposit. But that must have been collecting a lot of rainwater for that size pipe. Or for the pipe to be that size. I'd love to see this bit. Oh, look, pipes. I'd love to have seen this when they were doing this bit, you know, when they was um, putting the concrete over. So, uh, are we directly underneath? We was underneath the um, park. I mean, that is a pretty valid point. At what point did they, they build over this stuff? Like, when did they cast all this concrete and build the park on top? That's unbelievable, isn't it? It really is unbelievable. But never mind. It's not a bad little find. I've got a lot more stuff like this. And don't forget to sh chuck me some ideas if you think of anything like this. But what a place, eh? That is some real hidden history down here. And I was relieved, I'm telling you, relieved to see daylight. Even though the trip's not finished. Like, I mean, I'm still in the middle of this river or canal or whatever it is. Big, oh, look at that. Oh, daylight. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Little buttress. Look at this concrete. We uh, it seems warm out here now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What time is it? Have we got Yeah, hang on. <laughs> So that's a very interesting place underground there, eh? And it's real, like I said, real hidden history. But one thing I do want to like zoom in on a little bit is 
it's the, it's the concrete underneath our feet. Like we sit there and think, oh, like it's, we just think it's all natural underneath us, but it ain't. It's all old world and it's built for us. Look at this. This is underneath a street. So you see these two lights poking through. These are two manhole covers or two drain covers. So if you lift them up, you go into the sewers. But look at the infrastructure around the drain covers. This is m massive, massive, massive cast concrete holding up, holding up a city. I just find that incredible, like really incredible that we don't even think about this sort of stuff. Look, look at all the, look at all the beams of concrete. Imagine the weight that's supporting. And who designed that? You know, and who poured all this concrete? And at what date was this done? Because it must have been done before. Look, I mean, look at this. He's holding it up Bristol. Oh, it just fascinates me. It really does fascinate me. Because obviously there was, a, there was a point before the old world was built on top of. And it was when this put, stuff was put in. I'd like to know when that date was. But obviously I'm never going to find out. But what an exploration, eh? What an exploration. Big up Jim for that, man. One love, brother. Let's have a Brucey. Let's have a real Brucey bonus. Come on, Gil. 3,000 year old water control technology. Located at an Inca site in Alante Tambo, Peru. Research shows that the rate of flow is slowed down by up to 70%. But research is now blocked at this site, and this video is a violation of world site rules. Again, I'll put it on loop for you so you can see this stuff. Now, I sat there and thought about this, whether it's real or not, I don't know, but. I do try and debunk things before I put it out there, just to, just, like, so, this does make sense. Like, you, you would not be able to fully shut this water off. Because if you did, it would just back up and spill out the sides. So it makes a lot of sense to shut it off and just leave it trickling so it don't overspill. And that is remarkable if this is real. And another thing is, if this is in Peru, then why in the world have we not heard from this from Brian Forrester, this gatekeeper? Like, why am I finding out about this from some random person off TikTok? When you've got a geezer sitting in there doing tours from that place, why hasn't he showed you this stuff? I digress. Anyway, I'm going to do a video on that geezer next because some of the stuff he's coming out of is just diabolical. And uh, I don't want to... I'm not even going to mention his name. I'm just going to make the video, but you know. You know why I go on anyway. With his geopolymer stuff. But my next bit I'm going to talk about is... This Stargate that was found in 1922, I think it was 22, or 28. And, bro, Wagwan here then, guys, eh? Wagwan here. Is this, a, is this a, a prop, or is this real? And when I was reading this paper, it was saying that people, that Ra's from another planet, and he got trapped here and things like that, I don't know. But yeah, what do you think about this? Because, is it real? Is it a hoax? Just like anything, when you come out with something, they, they bring out something fake around that subject. So when you go and look for it, you come across the BS version of it, you know? So I don't know why I go on here. I'd like it to be real. Did they really, really find a Stargate in 1928? Let me know what you think. And another thing is, I couldn't find hardly any information on this. But look, this is the original pictures. It looks like a, it looks like it's a wheel from a, for a giant angle grinder, masonry one as well. <laughs> Maybe it is. Imagine that. Maybe it's just a giant cutting disc. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Bit of mystery around it. Massive as well. Ginormous. Twenty-two foot. This is apparently, and it was buried. Now another thing I'm going to show you is uh, something they found. Now this is all geopolymer, by the way. And you can tell it's been done in sections and lines. You can just tell. But this little object found down there has been poured in a geopolymer textile. You can see that it's still got the nubs on it. But if you look around, if you actually look at the structure around it as well, you can see that it's been poured in sections. Look at that. That must have been the finished article. That is obviously ready to be taken somewhere. But the floor is poured in squares. Look at it. 
everything around this is just such this, this must have been like the workshop left just left there here i don't know if i don't even know if i believe egypt anymore you know some of the stuff I, some of the stuff don't seem i don't know i don't know i'll just leave that for another video i'll leave it for the next video but again geopolymer in the background you can see where it's poured directly on top of each other nothing's cut out of anything around here look at it and i'll slip this one in but yeah you've got this cylinder object in the center and you've got the nubs on it so that is where they pumped the geopolymer lot it's definitely limestone in egypt so they pumped that in there and then they've done some acid etching on top to get it smooth as anything and again you can see where they've poured it in lines this is not a quarry for some reason they were building the world around them in ginormous blocks but you can tell each this, this is but again you can see how smooth this this like i don't know what it is again more sandstone geopolymer limestone very peculiar stuff it's like it's like it's been squashed into a mold and you can see certain parts like here where it overlaps the parts and again poured in sections poured in sections man so this guy uh, bf brian forrester i'm going to call him bs not bf good old bs He's literally going around giving people false narratives and just giving them absolute BF. So, anyway, who cares? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And if you want to join the gang, feel free. Links are in the description. One love. Ta-da. Ta-da.